Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now, this video is all about this, well, mystery unboxing. I already know what's in the box, but you don't. And I can assure you that it's something very exciting, very special, uh, and that the channel will only get better from it. It just arrived and as I said, I didn't unbox it yet. Maybe this is... Yeah, this is pull tab. Let's pull it open like that. And now we should be able to crack it open to see what's inside here. Fully open. Damn. That's quite a strong box, actually. There you go. Just rip it apart. Yeah. Well, I ordered it that. Tom on. They give you a nice cartoon on the back. Haven't ordered something there, so this is my first time. There you go. The Sennheiser MKE 400 shotgun microphone. Yeah, that's right. I bought a shotgun microphone. Uh, well, bought. Uh, this actually a birthday present um, and I am going to use it for the channel because I feel like the, the channel is growing of course with the point of recording uh, I've got 298 subscribers and it all started with zero so I guess that's the time to upgrade uh, my equipment to actually produce higher quality videos. Now there are some more things coming my way. Also channel improvement, channel upgrades, however you might uh, call them. Uh, but they will greatly improve, well that's the point, that's what I'm hoping that they will uh, improve the quality of my videos. Not only the content quality but also the visual and audio quality. So. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, microphone. It's uh, it needs a triple A battery for powering and for uh, wind cancellation. There's a, a low pass or no a high pass filter, and uh, maybe it's written on the back. Uh, no, the, it's a, a high pass filter and when you turn it on, the wind knob over here, it will enable, I think it was uh, 80 hertz uh, frequencies, it will cut that off and the others will just continue. So let's actually open it. Oh. Now this microphone is rather old, I think they started producing this thing in 2008. And it's now 2020 and they're still producing it because I can't imagine that they uh, have produced so many items that they could survive up to 2020 with one production batch. So they're still producing it and this microphone still gets regularly compared to others on YouTube. So yeah, let's take a look. This is, oh, there's a, oh, a book. I guess that's, this is the user manual. Yeah, user manual. Cool. So as you can see, a really old camera design. But uh, yeah, lots of plastic. And they include a triple A battery. That's just really nice, really cool. So let's take a look at the camera. It's 
quite small actually. This rather hard to take it out. It's it's way smaller than I anticipated. Oh, this is oh this is cool. You hear that? That's metal. No plastic, pure metal. Now there are two slide knobs. Uh, this is also the on-off switch. So it's off. Now the microphone is on and now your wind cancellation is on. Knobs feel really nice. Battery light indicator. When you turn it on, I think it will light up for a brief moment. Uh, and when the light permanently comes on, it's time to replace your battery. It has around 300 hours of uh, operation with one AAA battery. So that's uh, great. You've also got built-in amplification. Uh, so full minus or plus this is for less sensitive cameras and this is for sensitive cameras and the nice battery well they didn't really get feedback from uh, unpackaging experiences so yeah that's uh, and this is removable uh, reveals the microphone i was expecting a dot a audio dot on uh, on this side but it's at the top might not need an uh, a mod actually then need to test the uh, recording levels because my camera is it's tilted like this you know it's not sitting like this it's sitting like this so if i put the microphone on like this the audio field over here will be recorded and not my voice i think so that's what I need to test, and if that's the case, I need to 3D print a hot shoe bracket that allows adjustment of the angle. At the bottom over here, you've got a little knob, and that's for the battery compartment. And we can also see the internals of the device. Can you see it? Uh, turn at the right angle. Let me grab another light. Yeah, there you go. There's the PCB. I was, uh, wasn't expecting a PCB to be in there actually. That's a great design. So let's put in the battery. Nice clip. You just press it down, it sits very tightly, and there's a little vibration thing. So the Vibrations won't uh, go through the microphone into the audio signal. Oh, wrong side. Let's turn it on. Oh, that was a very brief, a very brief moment of the light coming up. Wow. Well, yeah, that's it basically. Let's install it on the camera and actually check what it sounds like. Nice little ring over here that you can use to tighten it onto the hot shoe. Let's open it. And let's put it on there. And tighten it. Cool, so now it's tightened. And then wrap around this one time. And insert it into the microphone port. Now I'm not sure if the camera is continuing to use the internal microphone or switch to the external microphone or I need to stop and start recording. Well, we'll see. That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The camera switches to the uh, to the external microphone. Uh, didn't know it was capable of doing that. Let me put something over here for your entertainment. So, yeah, this is the new camera, and I can immediately see that I have to reduce my 
speaking volume level because it's speaking if I talk like this which what I usually do for YouTube it's speaking so there's a, a bar graph a audio bar graph on the screen of my camcorder and that's what I'm viewing right now yeah this massive peak if I If I clap like that, so it's all red. So wow, it's really cool, really cool. It's uh, it looks like I don't even need the adjustment device because it's at low volume and it's already peaking. Let me triple check. Yeah, it's at low volume. Let me put it at high volume. So, oh, that's not high volume. So now it's at high volume and it's still peaking. Well, my camera is also set to automatic noise adaption gain control. So that might be the uh, gain control that's doing its adjustments. But wow, I'm still a little bit confused about that uh, stereo mini jack and I ordered the second one for this as well which is completely useless yeah I can plug them in together and I've got a uh, male three and a half to female three and a half so yeah but damn I'm not sure what the quality is like I'll yeah, go onto my computer and actually uh, listen to the difference Let's unplug the microphone and let's hear to my voice and then plug it back in and then let's hear to my voice again. So I'm going to unplug it right now. And my camera again automatically switched to the internal microphone. Really smart. I, I didn't even know it was capable of doing that. As I said, I've never used an external microphone with this camera. So and let's plug it back in right now so yeah again it switched to the external microphone really amazed by the quality of this camera I think I can, can get so much more uh, quality out of this camera uh, and that's why I ordered the other item that's coming very soon and I'll also making a video about it uh, and I'll also compare it to an actual product that you can buy online so let's uh, try the wind filter shall we so now it's at on the microphone is on and let me turn oh wait I think the wind filter is already active no the wind filter is not active no the microphone is on and the wind, wind filter is disabled so let's enable this thing at its minimum value and see if you can hear the difference between the wind noise reduction. I think this is about the point. Let me bring it closer. Yeah. All right, let me turn on the wind filter. Oh, wow. I think the wind filter was on because now the, it's peaking way more. Yeah, there you go. See, in the middle, the wind filter is enabled. So now it's at this position and it's linear frequency response. And the wind filter was uh, is now disabled. So 
let's do this test again but now over here Now enable the filter. Wow. I'm not sure if you just heard that car driving by, but there was literally a van driving by. So let's check this van. There's a fan right next to the camera and right next to the microphone actually. I don't see a audio bar peaking so let's turn off the filter. I don't see anything moving as well here. So yeah, this microphone I'm, I'm really excited because I think it's a major step forward with the equipment that I use to actually record this uh, the content for you that I produce and create so I hoped that you well, like uh, my decision to improve the quality of the content if you do please uh, let me know down below um, and there might be a little video coming up for you as a 300 subs special. Not going to tell you lots about it, but it might be on the way to you. Still need to start uh, recording it, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but hey, that's uh, a story for another time. So, well, I thank you guys for watching. I hope that I sound more clear. Uh, please let me know the um, difference between the uh, low pass filter on and off maybe I should talk with low pass filter on and off so this is with the wind uh, filter on so low pass or low frequency uh, filter that's a high pass filter this is with the high pass filter on and this is with the high pass filter off and I'm guessing that my voice sounds a little more uh, has a little bit more warmth to it because the bass frequencies don't get filtered out but yeah let's uh, I'm actually going to open these video files on the computer and actually hear the difference so thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one bye hey guys this is Tim I hope you liked that video if you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, you can also share the video with your friends and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.